Welcome back to Phoenix White, folks. We took out a citadel last time, and we are gonna go do it again, I think. Over here. We have a citadel there. So let's start the Thunderer going. Uh, let's pause. Where's that? It's there. There's no way we can make it. Uh, the Manticore. Over here as well. We'll go take out one more Citadel. And here at base. We have four guys. Which is not enough. Uh, but they're leveling up. We need to go get some more, but can't really afford to right now. We'll take out this citadel. And then we will go scavenge a bunch over in South America, I think. And maybe in Europe, because we need to find a base in Western Europe as well. So yeah, that's the plan. What are we researching? Pandoran telepathic nodule. And then the advanced Tiamat. Now, the Tiamat could actually go and do some trading. Oops. Let's go there. And we'll buy all the materials we can. And where else do they have materials that we can buy? Over here. Okay, 55% ODI. Our optives have reported unusually disturbing hallucinations of an abandoned inhuman city. The details of each experience are different, but several share clear similarities in the architecture described, including a deep pit, green pyramids, and a cyclopean tomb that instills unbearable terror. That doesn't sound good. Some also report a voice whispering for them to approach the tomb, while one individual's claim while one individual claims to have heard distant voices warning them to stay away from the thing in yellow. Okay. All right, lost a lot of stamina there. That's not great. Because... Oh, crap. Uh, cancel because... Well... Let's cancel. They're down to 50%. I don't think we can do this right now. Where do we have it? Where's the nearest base? I think we need to rest up a bit. Suppose the nearest base is there. Phoenix Point. Alright. Let's trade. Okay, so that gives us some money to recruit with. Oh, I don't really want priests, I think. How many priests do we have? We have none there. One, two, three. Uh, maybe another priest would, would be okay. How many infiltrators do we have? One, two, three. An infiltrator might be okay as well. One, two, three. Three infiltrators we have. 
Uh, what I really want is snipers or heavies. Uh, I think those are gonna get be hard to get right now. It's a berserker. That's a uh, assault. It's a priest. Let's just head over there. Eight hundred and five food, Jesus. Eight hundred and five food. That's a new talk, don't want it. Uh, that we can do. So let's head up there. Uh, you just head back to Phoenix Point. Actually, oh, we already traded with you, didn't we? All right. Pandoran telepathic nodule. Discovered during multiple autopsies but initially dismissed as a tumor, the telepathic nodule or T cluster is in fact an essential part of how the Pandora virus controls its victims. Located in the cerebral cortex, this cluster of Pandora virus produced neurons can this cluster of Pandora virus produced neurons can ra radically alter behavior, completely overriding the victim's sentience. More significantly, we have empirical evidence that the T cluster is capable of receiving and transmitting signals of some kind over vast distances in a process akin to telepathy. telepathy. It should be noted that the size of the cluster depends on the type of Pandoran. Arthrans, Tritons, and Chirons have minuscule, almost unidentifiable nodules, while those of Sirens and Scyllas are much more pronounced. The real question that must be answered, however, is this. Is the chi cluster only used for communication between Pandorans, or are they receiving orders from an outside force? Okay. Our research has once again caused controversy. To New Jericho, the existence of the telepathic nodule is unsurprising. There's always, they have always seen infection as an attack on human will, but it's made their relationship to the disciples of Anno deteriorate even further, as they now see their disciples as not only trying to pervert, but to enslave humanity. Okay. To Snedrian, confirmation that the Pandorans are controlled by an external force is deeply shocking. To Le to the polyphonic tendency subfaction, it means coexistence is no longer as simple. The Pandoran creatures must be liberated first. But the terraformers argue that this is naive. The task is to take control of the Earth for humanity, not romanticize the alien invaders. The disciples, meanwhile, have released a rare official statement from the exalted. Behold, our people have drunken deep of the waters of life, and yet they are free. Our path leads not to enslavement, but to liberation from the flaws of the old flesh. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'm not really on the Anu side, I think. I'm probably leaning more to New Jericho and Sinedrian, though it doesn't show it for New Jericho at least, but for Sinedrian it does. Alright, we had some new research. Project Dumbo Boy. Scientists aligned with the polyphonic tendency have been working on a system for better protecting havens via the use of infrasound emitters that can disrupt Pandoran communications. Okay. You know what? We'll queue that up. Don't think it's the most important one. I think we'll just leave it in the order that it is. Okay, how are the guys doing? They still need to rest quite a bit. Uh, so, personnel, T, 
him at you go to Phoenix Point. I think now that we have everything gathered here, I might do some housekeeping. So let's just unload everyone at Phoenix Point. And try and set up some decent squads. Right, so everyone is at Phoenix Point. So let's start with let's start with the Thunderbird. For not, uh, let's do training first. You are definitely getting those two. And getting that. And your equipment is and that. All right. Suppose that's okay. You're encumbered though. Why are you encumbered? Uh. I don't like that he's encumbered. I don't want to take away his med kit. All right, that's better. That was a bit weird. And then we have you who needs training. I wouldn't mind that, but I think instead we'll just go with more willpower. You need some training. Hey, you need some training. I definitely want you to have a second. Uh, you need some training. Oh, yes. All right, and we go up on ammo. Miss Steven. That might be very nice. Let's do that. And then next time he's getting Mind Crush and a ton of will points. Let's just do that for now. And that's all the training done. So let's start by setting up the Manticore. I want tiny. To be on the Manticore. Or uh, not the Manticore, I'm the Thunderbird. I want to start with the Thunderbird. Tiny is going to be on the Thunderbird. Chaz. You go on the Thunderbird as well. Then I want mm -hmm. 
So uh, let's give you a couple more of those. They're actually pretty good. Mature will go on the Thunderbird as well. And then I think Wolfgang will go on the Thunderbird. Where did Wolfgang go? There. Thunderbird. So that's four on the Thunderbird. We need three more. We have an Infiltrator. We have a Priest. And we have two Heavy Snipers. I think we'll put Lease on the Thunderbird as well. Maybe Babe. That leaves one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's Devon. You go as well. Yeah. All right. So that's the Thunderbird done. And we have the Manticore, which will get Steven and Bernard and Alex. And then guess Mopo. And priest. Rob. Let's just see what do we have on there now. We have an assault sniper, a sniper heavy with rage burst, we have an assault berserker, a you definitely need a spider drone thing. Where are those? There. All right. We need one more guy. I think that's going to be Ator. No. It's going to be Evan. Or Abigail. But let's do Abigail. Now I would like to give you a heavy weapon as well. Specifically the Hell Cannon. How much would it cost to make a Hell Cannon? Just too much. Alright. Well, we have set up 
two of the ships. We need to heal up and rest up. Why aren't they healing? Why is the medical way off? Jesus. Uh, man to core. You have a level up. I'll we'll give you rapid clearance and two more in the uh, willpower. All right, so the Manticore is basically ready. So Manticore, you head down here and try and help that. And that's on the way over to the Citadel, but we won't be able to make it in time. Uh, we're basically healed up, right? So let's oh, let's let them heal up. We won't be able to make that as well. Uh, I don't really care about the Jericho Havens, to be honest. Yeah, I don't. Let's just let him heal up. Uh, let's see, personnel. Who was it that needed... A spider drone thingy. It was Mopo, right? Okay. Mopo is on that one, so that's good. All right, now Thunderbird, head over to the Citadel. Oh, I know. All right, so we have a Haven under attack. We just barely made it, but we'll get nice rewards, which we desperately need. So let's go ahead and start the mission. Extreme threat level. What do you need? Need some ammo. Well, you actually need a Sunidium Poison Crossbow. And there. And then you can have another grenade. Alright. Let's deploy the squad. Right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Extreme threat level. So it's probably not gonna be easy. There's a Scylla. Very, very healthy Scylla. Uh, let's have a look at your abilities. You luckily don't just have Smashers, and then you have a Still Frenzy and Spawn Mindfragger. No Death Belts, though. And then we have a Siren. Terrific. And an Arthron. Now we're we're in a pretty good spot here. So if you you came up here and rage burst that thing, Moody. right, a Chiron? No, I All set. I did not mean to do that. Iron there, not Arthur there. Now, how much armor do you have everywhere? A lot. I'd actually really like to just take out its armor and then stun it. Mm -hmm. 
to 60 damage. So the only way place we wouldn't get through is the carapace. We can hit it in the face. Or in the torso, or in the leg. I do think we're going to have to weaken it a bit first, though. But you know what? Let's see. This would cost five. And we can only see the carapace from here. Darn it. Okay. Now you can't really do anything from there. You can quick aim at that. Man, we can't see it at all, can we? We can. Quick aim again. Crap. Okay. We need to take that Chiron down. Oh, there are two kinds. Okay. Uh, let's see. How much willpower do you have? Too much. Can you actually hit anything from here? Not really. Not really. Uh, you're done. Who do we have here? Oh, you. Um, I really need you to move in close. Don't really know what to do with you. If we move up one and quick aim. Now we can't quick aim rain bur rage burst. Can't actually see it. Ah, you missed. All right, and then there's you. You need to come forward as well. Heading out. Or Overwatch down this way. All right. He's going to drop a. Mindfragger. 
which we're definitely gonna have to deal with. Mindfraggers are dangerous. We're gonna get some worms. Another siren. More worms. Now I'd rather deal with the Scylla fast than with the Chirons and the Sirens. Alright. Oh. I thought it was my turn. But no. It just has a pistol. That's good. Another siren. Missed. Uh, they didn't lie when they said it's extreme danger level, man. Right, this should be pretty good. Please hit the mind fragger. Okay, we didn't hit the mine fragger. I'm here. Now we took up some armor on some legs and on the spawning ab abdomen. So So we could hit that leg. You know what, let's try it. He's paralyzed, and he's going to be paralyzed for 20 turns. Beautiful. Which means no more mind fraggers. This is also beautiful. Ready to fire. Take out these two worms. Are there more worms up here? No. There are three worms down there. Oh, uh, four worms down there. Okay. Okay. Now, which siren can we see? We can see that one. Can't see that one. I really want to kill that one. Which I think we can do. Let's quick aim. Get you. Alright. Let's reload that and launch out. Where do I want to launch the spider drones to? You know what, let's launch them out there. Let's really see it, can you? Uh, 
Then we have you. You can dash twice. It's not gonna be enough. He's really well hidden in there, but it also means that he can't really get to us in a hurry. Won't be able to hit a dang thing there. Receiving loud and clear. Oh, I'm really just trying to get away from the uh, fireworms here. For now. And there's you. Really like to shoot the siren. And I'd like to hit as well. So who could we panic? You. Nah. Not really worth it. All right, 80 damage on the siren. You're out of moves. Okay, that works for me. Those two are gonna launch a bunch of Worms again, that's fine. You missed whatever you were shooting at. And this minefragger. Oh, it didn't. It wasn't able to do anything. We're in a pretty good spot up there on, on the roof. I'm quite happy about that. Ow. Stop that. All right, more worms. That one only launches two, it seems. So well, that's pretty good. Comes the siren. I don't think it'll be able to mind control anything. It's too far away. Yeah. Too far away. <laughs> That's a lot of worms dead. Oh yeah, go take the, out the siren. Why would you go in behind the wall, you dummy? Jesus. If we jump down, we'll be able to be able to get back up. Don't think so. No. I really don't want to jump down with him. Now you, I would very much like to rage burst down a tyrant, if possible. It's not. Let's put some poison on this one. That's 120 poison. That's 150 a turn it's taking now. But that'll kill it in 
three turns. That's gone in three turns. All right. Ready, fire. We'll take Targeting. a couple of pistol shots here at the fireworms. Well, at least one. There's one more fireworm up here, and that's it. Because I would very much like to shoot the siren. That tree is very much in the way, though. So that's dead. Got the fireworm. Don't really need to take out that one. You missed, you idiot. Uh, not doing anything. Pushing on. Dash you down here. No point in using ammo, is there? Actually, bash. How much does bash cost? One. Well, it's dazed. That doesn't help me though. And you can dash over here. No rest for the wicked. And bash that one. That'll kill that one. And then you do need to dash again to get into cover, which kind of sucks. Takes away all your will points. Now you... Where can you get to? There. Take out the mind fragger. And then he can go in and start wailing on those guys. You. Identifying targets. All right. Disabled torso and head, and he's dazed. Okay, Siren down. That's a lot of will points they lose there. He panicked. damage that's not a lot and more worms for him I guess yeah he's in deep shit all right well we need to reload 
And then you really need to come down and start taking up worms. All right, that's one worm. There's two worms. There's a worm there. Two turns, you're dead. Have you dashed in here? Pushing on. Look out that firework. Threat eliminated. Do these guys have stomp legs? No. That's nice. Guess you'll come up here, and then you'll be ready to wail on that guy next. Well, I don't see any more worms, which is a little bit worrisome to me. You... All right, we disabled his machine gun, which is very, very good. And we'll start laying some poison on him. All right, 120 poison on him. Let's see. We're down to 13, so we could, in fact, panic him, but do we really need to? I'd rather panic one of you guys. You're getting kind of close now. We have you here. Where can you get to? There, there's a worm. It was gave him plus three will points, which isn't bad. One less to worry about. Okay. You yeah. uh, who, who am I? I have 150, so if we can hit with the pistol here, we could. That means he's dead. Right? Right. Good. And we have... Ah, uh, you. can't see anything right now. I'm gonna have to drop you down. Within. Okay. I'll take you out. Alrighty. He died. There's something back there. I'm not really sure what it is. Missed. Worms. Not anywhere that it really worries me, thankfully. There's not so good. That's the thing's dead now. 
That gives him more will points and it takes away their will points. Wonderful. Kind of expected that. Now, you have two will points left. Isn't that something? Now, mind control. If you come all the way over here, would you be able to mind control him? It would be really nice if you were able to. Because he's one of the dangerous ones, and I could really use him to kill that guy. And how close do you need to get? That's as close as you can get. Would that be enough? No, is the answer to that question. So, let's start putting some poison on him. Now, I wonder. Is a bash going to be enough to kill that thing? It has 50. Yes, it is. Why can't you bash the other one? Let's just try someone else. Targeted. I don't really want to shoot the shielded one. You I want. What your machine gun? Let's quick aim. Nice. Bash that thing now? No. Well, you can. Why can't you bash it? It's right there! Gotta keep going. Identifying targets. Hi there. All right, so it's all good. Then we have you. I think we're going to Overwatch here. that you can actually move further away so let's do that is 
This would not be bad. Ready to fire. All right. He's dazed, so we can't really do anything this time, which means he is dead. Or he can do anything again. In that case, move over here. I'm not going to do a whole lot to it by going over there. Let's go here and do a short overwatch. I'm on overwatch. Hey. Nice. That was exactly what I was hoping for. This is a long uh, haven defense. Something down there. Uh, well, I guess it's a triton with a sniper. We need to start moving down that way. He's dead. Here comes another Triton. Wait. All set. Now, someone got shot up here. Or what? No. Loud and clear. Oh, that's good. Right, so you. Uh, hmm. I really want to take him out. Since we can't. Ready to fire. Now, do you have Pink Chameleon? You do. Yeah. Targeting. Right. Can't really hit his torso. Well, you know what? Another option. How? Seven. Another option would would be to. Mind control him. Uh, I don't really see how we benefit from that right now. Let's just disable his arm there. I don't see the other siren anywhere, which worries me a bit. Right. I'm here. Well, there's a worm in there. That's a damn short. Heading out. Yep. Let's do this. Oh. 
20 damage. That's it. Moving to position. God damn it. Reloading. No. Dash over here. Uh, you need to reload, don't you? And that costs reload. an action point. So no point. Taking aim. Uh, hit him in the face. How are you out of ammo again? I really need to check that before we go into missions. Now, one thing I could do, we have one clip left. You know what? Let's put that into him. Reload. Uh, let's see how you're taking 90 damage. You have a hundred, of course. Oh, there you go. You're dead. Right, that's a couple more down. Zero damage. That's a little bit weird. Hey, you shouldn't have stump legs. Right, well, he's poisoned. Let me try it in there. He took a bit of damage. That's okay. Okay. Now you. Heading out. Hi there. He actually he has less armor on the carapace. Weird. Well, we're going to take away your pincer. You are no longer a, f a threat. And then we can actually go ahead and bash you as well. We're dead. All right. There's you. No need to shoot any of those. Let's see how much health do you have left? 180. So it's not even gonna be enough to put poison on him. All right. Now this, that's so much overkill, man. I think I'd rather drop you down and take a few shots at. The worms. Ah. Uh, 
kind of cute. That didn't work. Why didn't you get panicked? Darn it. Alright, in that case... I really don't want those uh, worms to blow. We have you. Identifying targets. Threat eliminated. Right, that's one of them down. And there's that one left, right? Right. Right. Okay. Let's do this. And I think there's a siren and another triton. Ooh, if we're lucky, we work. Let's just start moving you up. Okay. Are you panicked? That's good. Oh, there's a worm there. Did you get close enough? No. So there's the Triton. Damn it. Right, well, you can't really do anything then. Which means it's gonna be up to you. That should take care of it, right? Wrong. You can't shoot anymore, so you can't really do much. You can see that Triton. Don't have a whole lot of cover. Well, we disabled his head. We were completely out of ammo, man. Alright, in that case. And you induce panic on him. No, why? Is he too far away or what? All right, he's panicked. Now this guy up here is not panicked anymore. I'm going. Overwatching. Well there is I forgot about that worm man. Luckily. That's worth it. Let's do this. Oh, 
to full power. Right. That worms down. Would have been so nice if we'd hit there. Took a bit of damage, but not too much. That thing's gonna die next turn. Alright. Yes. All set. Moving to coordinates. In that case, just run. And run. Can you see him? Oh, you need to reload. And kinda. Alright, good. He's dead. Where is the other one? It's over there. Repositioning. Prioritizing speed. Now, one thing I need to check is I got still days for thirteen turns, so channel open. Fine. Let's come up here and panic him again, or mind control him. No. Yeah. Why can't I panic him? Because he has too much will. Crap. This is not great. He's mind controlled. Okay. Five by five. I don't really want you to shoot him though. There's someone in there as well. I really need to take that thing out now. Not going to do a whole lot, is it? Well, it's better than nothing. Moving down. Ready to fire. Right. That's the furthest you can go. Can theoretically hit it. I don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit you. I want to hit you. Uh, let's just see. Can you move a little bit? You can. Five by five. All right. That's a kill. Whew. 
That was important. That was really important. So I really want to get you into cover. Uh, he just lost five will points. I'm not sure. Let's just get into cover here. There's not much else I can do. You're still paralyzed. All right. I think that's the only one left. Ooh, you missed. Nice one. Well, there's two left. There's an Arthrin in there. Dang it. All right, Arthrin. You only have six will points. So can you see him if you go in there? No. You can see him if you go in there, but I think if... Uh, let's see... Spawn mist. Spawn a cloud of mist around the creature. But does it make them immune to... No choice. Mind controls is the question. Very much like some cover, then take the shot. All right. Ready to fire. And let's quick aim. Taking aim. Ah, I could feel it in my bones that that was going to miss. From there you have three shots. Well, two because... <sighs> Come on! You know what? I'm going to deploy a decoy here. You have one dash. How far can you dash? Not far enough for it to make sense. Let's roll. And this is a long episode, sorry guys, but we're, we're going to finish this. Now, you should be able to be panicked. Nope. And that's because of the mist. Yeah. Oh. He's running. Don't kill anyone. He's gonna return fire, isn't he? No. But then we'll take another shot. I'm here. 
Do dash Pushing up here. On. And come in here and take him out. Right? No, well, he's not taken out. I would have thought that he would have been taken out. God damn it! I was sure he was gonna die! And that killed him. God damn it! God damn it! A stupid mistake. A stupid, stupid mistake cost us one guy on the very last turn. On the very last turn, we lost 11... Level, uh, it was Abigail level 4. That's something at least, I guess. Uh, but really annoying. But it is what it is. Let's head back to the Geoscape. All right, we... Defended the Haven, we got some of our loot, so that's nice. Uh, we need to replenish all. Alright, and we defended those guys, so that's something at least. Now, uh, it's building. We could go down here and trade, but we'll have to do all this in the next episode, guys. This has run on way too long. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.